Hi, it's Dale from Elephant Memories, and I'm here with Matt from Castle Mill Works, and we're exploring his awesome workspace. So we have here a good-sized pile of black walnut that we're about to be processing, make mainly dimensional lumber out of it to build tables. We do the milling in-house, mainly mill for ourselves. We do sell some uh, black walnut, cherry, spalted woods, ambrosia, maple, large beech slabs, um, large uh, cherry cookies, different things like that. We kill them dry, our own wood. Um, we can shape it and um, plane it also. People don't want rough wood. Um, we can also shape the edges and make um, shiplap or something like that. We do different things for flooring or paneling and a lot of, we do a lot of uh, state work. Um, we also have large slabs, um, 45, 55 inch black walnut, big thick long conference table stock. We just started offering Australian wood slabs um, around 50 inches wide up to 17, 18 feet long. Uh, big, big heavy slabs if you need an enormous table for a lot of kids. We have all this pile here. We have, uh, there's a couple logs on this that are uh, spalted beech um, and a few apple logs, but that's mainly all walnut. So we have about uh, probably 8,000 board feet of walnut that we're going to be milling. We have plenty if you're interested in doing something like that. And we offer kiln drying and custom wood milling. Um, services too. This load's all ready. Actually, just keeping it in here for storage right this second. What a nice wide black cherry. Beautiful stuff, a lot of crotch figure on it. Compression curl crotch figure. Well, uh, this is really curly ambrosia maple, uh, spalted maple in there. Uh, there's some apple in here, I believe. This piece down below is apple, actually. Over here. These cookies, these are all black cherry cookies. Nice and cracked the way they like them. Beautiful color in here, actually. It's kind of funny they have a heart right there. But these are up to 43 inch wide cookies. I believe they're, I believe they're 25 quarter. Something like that. When they're milled down, they'll be probably three or four inch. Actually could slab these again and make two out each, but I like them thick. There's a lot of burl down below on these. As you can see, the some of the ambrosia maple up there. A lot of curl in this this batch. Oh. Actually open down here. These are 55 inch. These have. I believe seven or eight crotches on each of these pieces. So it should have a ton of figure. But these are all dry. They're down to about seven, eight percent right now. So nice and heavy figured. These are nine foot, ten quarter. The bottom one's a 13 foot, ten quarter. Pretty well already. 45 inch slabs on the bottom are 13 to 26 feet up the tree to just give you an idea how big the tree was. These slabs here go up to 55 because this is where all the branches started. So this is a 26 to 35 foot up the tree, a 270 year old black walnut. It came off a trail um, that George Washington Central Mass, George Washington marched down the trail on two separate occasions. So it's a pretty historic tree in its own, but it's a pre-revolutionary war tree. 
so it should make a pretty historic table for somebody. Put water on this so we can actually see the grain. You see the spalting on this, it's gorgeous. This is a, a pearl, it's an 87 inch piece of uh, beach. Beautiful piece, it should be fantastic. Once this is all leveled out and the curl in this should look about an inch deep. Nice 3D effect, a little bark inclusion here. A lot of curl and, and burl wood on this. So this is the going into the root system of the tree. So it should be really on a 87 inch tree. It should be pretty impressive. So we have the whole cookies that are full 87 inches. dried butternut so it's a good size it's a good especially for somebody who's going to do charcuterie some of this has spalting on it which is real nice um, there's some taller butternut there and all those slabs are all butternut there's a lot more spalting on that there's a lot of four quarter walnut and that's all charcuterie stock it's mm -hmm. currently eight foot but it can be cut down if we need be this is all nine foot charcuterie stock here it's all eight quarter a lot of figures of that but it's nice and dry and these i figured you would like these those are nice especially if you're into wood hoarding which i seem to be lately tough for letting these go but they really are absolutely amazing the curl of these yeah. this is the most curl i've seen in a, a cherry log so Good to go with the table as is almost. Yeah. yeah. If somebody wants to do epoxy. And nice bark inclusions on that, but just crazy curl. Anytime you see the really light next to the really dark, it's gonna mm -hmm. look 3D about an inch deep when you get it leveled and finished. So be pretty amazing on their own. Yeah, quite a few of these are all two inch or eight quarter black cherry. And some of these are going to be available in our studio for Open Studios, which is next Saturday, April 1st. Matt is going to be there uh, if anyone is interested in coming and talking to him, seeing some of the slabs that he has. There will be some for sale. Uh, we'll be doing some demonstrations with some of the oils that we have. Wow. A beautiful piece of black cherry. Wow. They'll be available. If they're not at the shop, they can be available here. So we have a lot more too. This is the tip of the iceberg here. 